Here's a question for you. What is 20 feet wide and 42 inches tall? It is the latest charcoal drawing by artist Gabriel Luders, and this is magnificent. Took you a few uh, days to put this together, Gabriel. Tell us about your charcoal drawings. Well, with this one, <laughs> I wanted to explore a much larger scale, and so I got the biggest piece of paper I could find and had the access to this great wall. And so I wanted to see how big I could go with it. And so I sketched it all out and started working. I covered the whole piece of paper with charcoal and then erased the detail and kind of brought out the lights and then went back in with charcoal to kind of bring in the definition and the shadows and things like that. So what image did you have in mind for this? Is this anything or just from your imagination and where the lights and darks took you? Yeah, it is from my imagination. Um, I do a lot of studies of nature, landscape drawings of trees and different foliage and things like that. And then when I come and work on the large drawing, I don't use that as a reference at all. It's more of an intuitive process that sort of happens naturally. I like to explore the shadows and the lights and the darks and just let it happen on an intuitive level. You mentioned you cover the paper first with charcoal, yeah. so, and then erase? Yeah. What? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a lot of charcoal. I mean, it gets kind of messy. My hands are covered, <laughs> you know, they're completely black and there's dust all over the place. So it's quite a hands-on process, but, um, yeah, it's, Something that's kind of evolved over time. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of smaller ones, and mm -hmm. I just kind of like that, you know, fluidity, you know, the fast-paced sort of work that happens with it. And, and then to take it to this level, I think it helps change the relation of the viewer to the piece itself. It kind of changes their mm -hmm. scale in relationship to the size of the piece. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. I like that aspect of uh, exploring different ways of looking at art and how we interact with it. You also work with oils, doing kind of a similar image. Yeah, I think the oil paintings are the evolution of the charcoal drawings. Mm -hmm. There's limitations with charcoal, because you can only go so far with the white and mm -hmm. the paper and the charcoal. But with oils, there's so much more that you can do with dimension and shadows and blending and things like that. So I think it's really kind of evolved into that. And lighting, tell us about yeah. that, with the, just the different ways that light catch. Yeah, I've primarily been working with black and white on these oil paintings, and I've kind of developed an interest with how the light affects the painting itself. Mm -hmm. And if you change the light, you can change the color in the painting. And I've been thinking about doing a series that kind of focuses on that. It, you, you know, you have a whole series of black and white paintings, and then you can subtly change the colors throughout them and how you display them um, and present them to the world. Um, this is another way of exploring uh, different ideas. And for me, I think it's the ideas that I'm the most excited about. Um, you know, thinking of different ways of making things or relating to it and, and then doing it and then making it and not as much interested in like the production aspect of making a consumeristic product. I want to be able to like have these as like traces that are left behind from exploring these ideas with different mm -hmm. mediums. Will we see any introduction and any other colors down the road? Possibly, yeah. yeah. I'm, when I do the landscape paintings, I definitely use a lot more color for the sky and the trees mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So um, I could see that sort of evolving into uh, you know sort of more surreal landscapes and things like that. So. Keep us posted. We'll check back. Okay. Gabriel, good. thank you very much. For KCCI, I'm Molly Cooney in the Artist Studio. And if you'd like to see it yourself, Gabriel's work is part of a new exhibition at Olson Larson Galleries at 203 Fifth Street in West Des Moines now through October 4th. For more on that, go to www.olsonlarson.com or check out Gabriel on Facebook.